A reading from the second book of Kings. And in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came with all his army against Jerusalem and laid siege to it. They built siege works against it all around. So the city was besieged until the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. On the ninth day of the fourth month the famine became so severe in the city that there was no food for the people of the land. Then a breach was made in the city wall. The king with all the soldiers fled by night by the way of the gate between the two walls. By the king's garden. Though the Chaldeans were all around the city. They went in the direction of the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king and overtook him in the plains of Jericho. All his army was scattered, deserting him. Then they captured the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon at Riblah, who passed sentence on him. They slaughtered the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, then put out the eyes of Zedekiah. They bound him in fetters and took him to Babylon. In the fifth month, On the seventh day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the bodyguard, a servant of the King of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He burned the house of the Lord, the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every great house he burned down. All the army of the Chaldeans who were with the captain of the guard broke down the walls around Jerusalem. Nebuzaradan and the captain of the guard carried into exile the rest of the people who were left in the city and the deserters who had defected to the king of Babylon- all the rest of the population. But the captain of the guard left some of the poorest people of the land to be vineyard dressers and tillers of the soil. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Apostle Matthew. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him, and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 